Small reopen safely, reopen sooner than later. That is a growing sentiment among many Illinois business owners, and we're working for Chicago, sharing their stories, including the owner of one Chicago bowling alley who says he's already made safety changes. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff, live outside diversity, rock and bowl. Dana, it's an investment really in hope. Yeah, Brad, hope that he'll be able to open these doors again before he has to close them for good. And those changes haven't been cheap. But again, and here's that word, he hopes they'll pay off. How long can you go before it becomes dire for you? <sighs> it is dire. For 34 years, Mark Iverson has co-owned Diversity Rock and Bowl on Chicago's northwest side. We've got some hand sanitizer and we've got gloves. Those, just a few safety measures Iverson already has in place in hopes the state and the city will allow him to reopen before the end of June. What he understands would be the earliest under the governor's current plan. Start out small, but start with something. In addition to hand sanitizer stations and gloves for all employees and bowlers, Iverson says he'll mandate employee temperature temperature checks. He'll set up social distancing stations, only allow one person at a time to get drinks or food, and clean after every group finishes. Perhaps most notably, he's already installed plexiglass partitions between tables, spacing them out every couple of bowling lanes. We can segregate customers with a plexiglass shield. Uh, with distancing, they're more than six feet apart. How much has this cost? Um, you know, well, for what we've all done, we're already in the tens of thousands, okay? And then on top of that, just being closed for this length of time, all the bills still continue, and they pile up. Iverson says he speaks for dozens of bowling alley and small business owners who fear waiting to the end of June to reopen will be too late. We could save some of these businesses if we just open up a little bit. Just give us 25, 50 percent. Capacities. He hopes lawmakers discuss it in session this week, and he really hopes the mayor and governor are listening. If the governor were to come in here, what would your plea to him be? My plea would be let us open and let us show you what good we can do. We are, we're, we're the American workers. We can do almost anything given the opportunity. One other specific safety measure, Iverson says they have a spray that they would use to spray down all shoes after every bowler uses them, a spray that kills all germs. Now, whether anything will change with the governor's reopening plan after they meet this week, uh, lawmakers meet, we, meet this week remains to be seen, but certainly a lot of those lawmakers heading down to Springfield on Wednesday have voiced similar concerns. I'm live in Avondale. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.